for book one, proposition number 20 of Euclid's Elements, in any triangle, two sides taken together in any manner are greater than the remaining one. So if we start with some triangle, let's say the triangle ABC, what this proof is focusing on is that if we pick any two sides, say this side and this side, then those two sides added together will be bigger than this third side here. And an important point to recognize is that we can choose any two sides. So I could pick these two and show that they're bigger than this third side AB, or I can choose another pair. And to start this proof, what we first wanna do is extend this line BA as far as we wish. And we can call this point up here D. So we just created the line BD using postulate number two. And then from here, we want to use book one, proposition number three, which basically says that if we have two lines of unequal length, that we can cut off a portion of the bigger line equal to the smaller line. So let's cut off a portion of this line AD equal to the line AC. So right about here, and we can call this point E. So now we know that the line AE is equal to the line AC. And then using postulate number one, we can connect the points E and C. And from here, what we wanna do is recognize that since AE and AC are equal, we have this isosceles triangle. And we know due to book one, proposition number five, that if we have this isosceles triangle with two equal sides, then the angles that subtend those equal sides are equal. So this angle here and this angle here are equal, which we can write down. So we have that angle ACE is equal to angle AEC. And notice that this angle ACE is just a part of this bigger angle here, BCE. And we know due to common notion number five that the whole is always greater than the part. So we can write down that the angle BCE is bigger than the angle ACE. And since ACE is equal to AEC, we know that the angle BCE is bigger than the angle AEC. And with this last piece of information, we can use book one, proposition number 19, which basically says that the bigger angle will subtend the bigger side. So basically, when comparing this angle here and this angle here, we know that since the angle BCE is bigger, it must subtend the bigger side, namely the side BE, compared to the side subtended by this angle, which is over here, the side BC. So what we can do is write that the side BE is bigger than the side BC. But we know that the line BE is just equal to the line BA plus AE. And we also know that the line AE is equal to line AC. So BE is equal to BA plus AC. And so we can combine all of this information here and here to show that BE, which is composed of these two sides, so BA plus AC is bigger than the line BC. But notice that these three lines are exactly the lines that we started with. We have that this line BA and this line AC, when added together, are bigger than this line BC. And that is exactly what we sought to prove so we can end with QED.